who was probably around 38, 42 years old, run from those things, pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace. Along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. So in the body, link arms help spur on people to increase their faith and their love for one another. Get away from quarrels. Do your best to be peaceful in the body. Don't entertain foolish and ignorant controversies. You already know what they do. They breed quarrels. Keep the main thing the main thing. Do your best to advance the gospel. Glorify the Lord in your speech and in your conversations, on your social media pages, at your job, in your group chats. Desire to please the Lord in the things that you say. A Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone. I understand the temptation to be impatient or to be angry, to be short with people, but the Lord's servant, he must, they must be kind to everyone, able to teach, patiently enduring evil, correcting his opponent with gentleness. And then why? Why should we do that? Why should we labor in that way? Because God may perhaps grant them repentance, leading to a knowledge of the truth, and they may come to their senses and escape from the snare of the devil after being captured by him to do his will. There are people in this world who are blinded and have hardened hearts because of their unrighteousness. And the Lord has decided to use us as his instruments, as his servants, as his vessels to proclaim the gospel. And through our godly character, through the word of God, he may perhaps grant them repentance. And that's what it's about. God's will is that people would move from death to life. He doesn't want anyone to perish. He wants you to be useful. He wants you to be a useful servant. And to be a useful servant, you must be holy. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that even though we were once filthy, wretches, God, that you redeemed us. Now we're clean. We thank you that when we are sinful, you're faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And for any of us who are dead in our sins, that you can revive our dead hearts. You are faithful to the faithless. We thank you, God. I ask that this word would land on soft, softened soil and that it would bear fruit and that we would strive to be holy and strive to be useful no matter where we are in our walks with you, God. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace, God. Would you help us to use your grace to choose righteousness, to choose you, Lord? We are thankful, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.